Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. For today, I wanted to see what $100 worth of film will get you. I've been low on film recently, so I decided to go and check out eBay, and I saw there was an auction that was interesting, and it was 21 rolls of different film stocks, so I decided to buy it, and I got the package today, so we'll open it up and I'll show you what's inside. So let's begin. I'm pretty excited. I just got this box today, so I'm glad to be opening it and checking out what's inside. A note, and we'll get to some packaging stuff. Seems really nicely packaged though. That's always nice. And it comes in this bag with all these different films. Really cool. So we'll go in through and show it each one individually. So to start off, we'll, we have this Fuji Chrome MS100 slash 1000. I've actually never shot with this before, so it's always cool to try out different film stocks. Really cool. I believe this is a slide film, so really cool. The next one we have Ilford XP1 400, some black and white film. And I've never shot with this one either, let's see. And it expired in November 1994. Really cool. Here's the box. Let's see. We have some Pro Image 1000, some just normal color negative film. Really cool. Let's see. Next, we have PJM Multi Speed film. Let's see. It's okay, it's Kodak Ectopress. And yeah, I've never shot with this one either. Pretty cool capsule though. Pretty interesting. We have another Pro Image 1000. Really cool. I'm really excited to try out all these film stocks. I'm pretty sure I haven't shot with any that are in here so far. Next we have another, oh no, this is an Ectacolor Pro Gold 160, so really cool. We'll move that to the side. We have a box of Kodak T-Max 400. I'm guessing, it, yeah, it expired in 1996, so pretty cool. I've shot with this before. Next we have a PJ800, yeah, some Ecto Ectopress color negative film, PJ800, really cool. A lot of these I haven't shot with before, so it's always cool to try out new film stocks, and hopefully I'll like them, who knows. This one's a really nice one. We have some Super G plus 800. Nice capsule. Yeah, I'm focusing on it as much as I can, but really cool. We have another one of the Ectopress 800s, and it's really nice to be having a lot of high ISO films. I'm pretty sure when it, I did the math in my head, it comes out to like around maybe $4 a roll. And to be getting a high ISO film, um, and so many of them are really cool. If you would buy them separately, like on eBay, they can be up to like $10, maybe even more a roll. Because the high ISO like film stocks are really rare, they don't really make many anymore. This one's an Ectopress Gold 400, 
Never shot with this one. Really cool. Another MS 100 slash 1000. I'm super excited to try these though. I'm guessing mo most of these are expired, but I'm pretty sure they'll still be good and still give out great results. Another Ectopress 1600. Really cool. Color negative film. So yeah. We have a few more, so let's check out this. Another Super G Press 800. Let's see, we have some Ektar, and I think this is a 24 exposure roll, which is fine, but really cool. We have a VPS 160. So this is very color three. So Kodak, very color three. Really cool. Haven't shot with it before. Let's see another MS 100 slash 1000. A Pro Image 1000. And the last two are, let's see, another Actipress Multi Gold. I think this one's different, yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. What ISO is this? It doesn't say, but still cool nonetheless. And then the last one is, let's see, another Actipress. But this one's a sample one, which is kind of cool. So, that's pretty much it. That's what $100 worth of film gets you. And definitely all the highest high ISO numbers caught my eye in the auction. So I really wanted to pick this up and see each different film stock. Because most of these I haven't shot with before. So, um really excited to go out and shoot with them and see the results that I get but that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's all for today take care bye okay we'll go everything individually so we got the MS 100s and 1000 then we have three of the pro images thousands and we have the two black and white in their box and then we have a bunch of the actopresses the different variants the multi speeds and the 800s and these two were um the um, super g 800 and then we have some other 100 speed films and then these were the three miscellaneous ones which are also really cool but that's pretty much it. This is what $100 worth of film gets you. And that's all.